I think it's a job that anybody can do. I mean, you've just got to uh, not mind being up in the air. The Oak Hill Fire Tower is Paul Sanborn's office. An office with a view. My first tool is my binoculars. If I, if I look out and I see something, I will uh, I'll look out and try to zero in on where it is. And uh, is it a smoke? Uh, is it dust? We've got a lot of gravel pits around the area that put up dust. Um, I also just use these to look for different landmarks. For Paul, this work runs in his blood. My family's always been involved in the fire service, uh, forest fire and uh, volunteer fire department. In fact, my great uncle was the first or, or one of the first watchmen at this tower in 1929 when it opened. It's fun, it can be boring sometimes, but um, it's, not, it's nice, it's quiet solitude sometimes also to just look around and, and watch out what's going on. And also when, when I spot a fire and can call it in, it's a sense of satisfaction too okay. that, Thank you. that how big would that fire have got if, if somebody hadn't seen it and, and called it in. So I've got a pretty good smoke over here in Loudon. Not sure where it is. Oh, I gotta find my degree reader. Fire towers have changed quite a bit over the decades. So these were uh, some stuff that's been in my family. I think my uncle went around and visited the towers and uh, took pictures and, and some of them are dated from the, well, some from 1973 and back as early as the 40s, but it's kind of neat because uh, some of these towers don't exist anymore. But some of the tools have remained the same. This is called the Osborne Firefinder. It's been around since the turn of the last century. It has degrees around the edge, and if you want to find out where something is, you look through here and line it up along this line and those uh, strings. And then it gives you a degree reading, which you can then transfer into trying to figure out where whatever you're looking at is. Oak Hill to Kearsarge and Belknap. I've got a uh, good smoke uh, showing down in Loudon. Can you see if you can give me a reading on those? The fire towers served to detect wildfires early, but this familiar face with his signature hat and jeans has been telling us for decades that we are the ones that can prevent wildfires. Nine out of ten of the fires in New Hampshire are caused by people. Uh, fires in New Hampshire, other than uh, your typical campfire or brush pile, uh, we see lightning strike fires. Uh, but also some of the human-caused fires uh, that we've seen are from equipment, uh, whether it's the equipment itself catching fire up in the woods or hitting a rock and creating a spark that starts a fire. Uh, and then we've also had fires that have been started by people target shooting. Ranger 1 to 22 on Tech 1. Chief Stephen Sherman of the Forest Protection Bureau says New Hampshire typically sees about 250 wildfires a year, burning over 200 acres. Fire danger in New Hampshire typically has run through the spring is a high fire danger time, and that's when all the forest fuels are really dry. Uh, the leaves haven't all come out and the forest floor can get a lot of sunlight so it heats up and, and fires can start and spread very quickly in the springtime. In the fall we see much of the same type of conditions where the leaves fall off the trees, add a lot of fuel to the floor, the forest floor, and we see a lot of fires then as well. Add drought conditions and fires become more prevalent endangering our land and the people of the Granite State. We're very congested here in the Northeast, so anytime we do have a fire, there's uh, a high likelihood that residences or outbuildings are gonna be nearby and threatened, and we call that the wildland urban interface, and that's something that we deal with a lot here in New Hampshire. Fighting these wild land fires is no easy task. Many burn in tricky terrain and deep in the ground. 
Probably the most memorable for me is the uh, Dilly Cliff Fire, which was up in North Woodstock in 2017. And that was a fire, it, it burned around 75 acres, uh, but it was extremely steep terrain, and the burning conditions were such up in the ledges that we couldn't extinguish the fire completely, and it burned for over a month before we were able to call the fire out. Having eyes above that are familiar with the landscape and know a friendly fire from a not-so-friendly one is an important job, one the chief knows well. When I started with the Division of Forests and Lands, uh, it was as a lookout watchman. Uh, so I was stationed up on McGalloway Fire Tower in Pittsburgh. Very interesting. Uh, meet a lot of neat people, a lot of different people, and the view every day is definitely an office with a view. The fire towers are staffed on weekends and also when we're running high fire danger. Greeting hikers and educating people about the importance of fire safety while keeping an eye on the horizon. Some people have no idea. They think it's just a tower you come up to, to get a view from and that don't know what we're really doing to uh, prevent uh, fires from uh, getting out of control. Yeah, that's putting up a pretty good blue smoke I've got in the area of 106 in Courier Road. Okay, thank you. Let me know if you need any more help. Anytime you can in spot a fire that otherwise hasn't been reported, it feels some satisfaction in that.